Welcome back to the Sixth Gear Garage. Today, I'm gonna to try and get this truck started for the first time since, I don't know, before I bought it. This is a 1987 Toyota with a 22R engine. And uh, I picked up this truck a little over a year ago. One of my viewers actually contacted me and said he had it sitting by his woods and asked if I'd be interested. So this truck was one of those Wrangling Park situations. And although we couldn't get it started the day I went to pick it up, I do trust the guy that it did run. Flint, by the way, if you're watching, be sure to let me know down in the comments. If I move out your way again, I will tick you up on that beer and uh, I'll bring out my ATC, we'll do some riding. Look at all those mouse turds. This truck's been a, a nice home to something over the years. But uh, yeah, looks like the carb is pretty clean. Nothing chewed through the filter, so that's good. How's the oil look? It looks very full. Truck's not exactly sitting level though. But yeah, I picked this up about a year ago and it was getting so cold so fast that I just dumped it back here in the tree line and forgot about it. Uh, tried to keep it uh, blending in through the seasons um, so my wife wouldn't see it, but she ended up seeing it anyways. And uh, I figure I should probably get out of the tree line before it sits through another winter. So let's get a battery in her and uh, see if she turns over. Oh, that's really rusty. I'm worried about it snapping here. Oh, there we go. So the whole truck is in pretty rough shape uh, cosmetically. The day I bought it, I did look under it and I didn't see any holes in the frame, so it could be possibly drivable. However, there are no brakes and no clutch line. Uh, due to them rusting out. If I do get this running, we'll worry about how I'm gonna move it after the fact. All right, well, we'll see if she cranks. I'm pretty confident, I mean, it is a 22R. And look at this key. This guy's got some character. Oh man, if you wanna know what's living in your truck, take a whiff right here. This goes inside the cab. We got some wildlife in here for sure. Ugh. I didn't exactly dump this in the best spot. Oh man, <laughs> there's been some stuff living in here for sure. All right, mouse turds removed. 242,000 miles, and I'm told this is the original drivetrain. And I think I recall him saying the odometer stopped working, so maybe even more miles than this. I should probably check behind the seat before I get too comfortable oh there's how they're getting in check out the original toolkit it's kind of rare these days she got power we are out of gear oh we are in gear It's actually stuck in reverse. That's not good. Okay, so it actually wasn't in neutral. It was in reverse, just kind of stuck. That's just how sloppy the bushings are. So I'm in gear here, and now, now I'm out of gear. Well, we know she cranks, so let's pour a little bit of fresh gas in the carb and see if she'll fire up. Well, that was too easy. The question is, are the fuel lines rotted out as well? We'll find out if she dies in a minute. The gas gauge did read empty. She's running, but she doesn't sound healthy by any means. It's been running for about a minute now.
Me and I love 22Rs. This is amazing. Well, let's see if she drives. Pretty sure we're stuck back here. Maybe I'll throw a rock under the tire here. All right, now because I have no clutch, I'm just gonna put it in first gear and start it up, see what happens. No, not enough battery. All right, time to get a jump pack. So I was gonna say the alternator could be bad, but the battery could be weak as well. It is from an old parts truck that I had. Uh, we'll throw the jump pack on her and get her going again. 12.3 volts. Oh, that's right. Still in gear. Maybe I just so happened to burn up all this fresh gas. There we go. Kidding me? How many times am I gonna get in and out of this truck today? All right, so now I got no power. Oh, there we go, just a bad connection. Okay, here we go. No. There we go. Sounds healthy. Well, it's been sitting here running for about five minutes. So I think it's running on the original gas now. Even though the tank says empty, there must be something in there. At least the lines aren't running away. But uh, let's see if we get this thing to move. No. You know, I could almost drive it in gear if it wasn't stuck in the ground back there. I feel like I'm gonna have to drag it out of here with something. Yeah, it's on the frame. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, no wonder it wouldn't move. It was definitely sunk in the ground at all four corners. This is years of nature in the engine bay. Definitely been sitting for a while. Nice reservoir cap there. This thing needs a good pressure wash before I even start wrenching on it. Oh, look, there's a uh, original Toyota copper radiator for you. Front support, rusting as they so often do around here. Not bad on this side. That's a pretty crusty frame. Here's a better look underneath the cab. It's solid. For an Ohio Toyota, this isn't bad at all. That mount's looking pretty crusty. Oop, just shed some weight there. This is usually a bad area on Ohio frames. 
and the hanger isn't collapsed into the frame. This could be my new winter Yoda. Ooh, that's looking a little bad up there. Okay, oh, there it is. Big old hole in the frame there, right behind the rear wheel. Only in Ohio can you get some next level patina like this. Maybe Michigan too. A little rust on the tailgate, but let's have a look underneath. Oh, that hole's not supposed to be that big. So crusty and scaly. Wow. So much rust. Oh, look. A dangling piece of frame. I'll just tuck that back in. The underside of the bed is actually decent. Let's see if the driver's side of the frame is just as bad. Oh yeah, just as bad, if not a little worse. Welcome to Ohio. Check out the cab corner, it's made of spray foam. At least it doesn't rust, except one can wasn't enough for this truck. This is nice frame right here. There was once a rocker panel here. And, oh, it has a glass pack muffler. A decent blue interior. In good shape for almost a quarter million miles. Check out the dash. It's almost crack free. This would be a gold find if the dash was uncracked. Vents are good. HVA face is brittle and it, it looks like a finger went through it. Original tape deck. Hopefully it works. Headliner is in nice shape. So filthy though. Of all my old rusty Yodas, this one has the most mouse turds. And we're talking out of like 10 trucks. I'm just going to get the shop back for that mess. The cat won't even stay inside. It smells so bad. Well, I'm going to leave this open here for a while, and uh, hopefully it airs out a bit. It's been closed up for about a year. And uh, next video, I'll get it in the garage, and we'll do a hammer test and see exactly how bad this frame is. If the rest is solid, I may patch the bad parts and have a decent little winter Yoda. Or if it fails... I'll be having some Yoda parts for sale. Thanks for watching. All right, Lindor, you have one job. I want you to eradicate the mice. You got a lot of work to do. Oh, you're, you're quitting on me? Eh, I can't say I blame you, man. You probably don't want tetanus.